Looking good, Dallas. Looking good, team. Woo! It was a memorable moment seeing Dallas CV and his team coming up along the shores of Norton Sound on their way to Front Street. The team looking good and strong as they headed towards the Burled Arch. A six time winner. It's never been done before until now. We just opened up new territory, you know, and that's kind of a cool feeling. After he finished the race, Dallas took the time to talk about his wild ride. In between bites of oranges, cookies, and a big juicy hamburger, Dallas seemed to be savoring the moment. I love everything about it, you know. I'm not sharing the champagne if that's what you're asking. <laughs> we learned a little bit more about the champ. You can call him Goat and his dogs, as well as his new bat sled made out of carbon fiber. He also told us about his homemade boots, and yes, he made them. It worked fantastically well. Also, those boots that I'm wearing right there, um, they look a little different. <laughs> so I made these guys. That's prototype three. This is prototype four. Obviously, I didn't have time to make a second prototype number four, so I have mismatched shoes running down the trail. This week in Nome, we met people from around the world. Walking up and down Front Street, there was an undeniable joyful energy. Being able to see the dogs and the, the mushers and meet them in person and have them sign the autographs is fantastic. The last couple of years, I've had a few health, health issues, and I thought if I don't do it this time, I'll never do it. I just think it's, it's an awesome race. I mean, it, it's kind of, you got to kind of be crazy, too, I think, to do it. But. <laughs> oh, and what about the dogs? Arguably the stars of the show. We watch them feast on their post-race slabs of steak and get lots of hugs and kisses. <laughs> the same day Dallas crossed the finish line, two bikers in the Iditarod Trail Invitational also made it to Nome. They biked 1,000 miles. It's brilliant. Yeah, getting here is uh, it's pretty surreal. Uh, last section was really tough. We also took the chance to play tourist and explore the city while we were there. And Nome, you clearly have a sense of humor. The Nome National Forest is a must-see. There aren't really any trees in Nome, so the community comes together to create their own forest. I even got a chance to grab this snapshot. Three generations of Seabees all in one place. Dallas, his dad Mitch, a three-time Iditarod champ, and Mitch's dad Dan, who helped found the race and competed in the very first Iditarod. Legends. I also hung out with 10th place musher Jesse Royer while she enjoyed some nachos after her 1,000 mile trek. She was gracious enough to let me snap a photo, as was second place winner Matt Hall. When you come to Nome to experience the end of Iditarod, a must do is a photo shoot under the Burled Arch. So that's just what we did to remember our great week here. That's a wrap from Nome. Trill Gates, your Alaska link.